I am enormously proud of what I'm about to show you and I really hope you like it. If you remember, about three years ago, I told you guys that we bought a house. It was really exciting for Kurt and I. It was the first house we had ever purchased, and we intended on being there for quite a long time. However, the particular neighborhood that we moved into, for reasons I'm still not exactly sure about, skyrocketed in value and people were willing to pay a lot more for houses than what we paid for ours three years prior. So even though we were in a position where we didn't have to move, we thought we would just list our house for kind of an outrageous to us price and see if anybody wanted to pay that price and they did in less than a day which blows my mind. So we ended up selling this first property and I actually mourned over it for several weeks because I loved it so much. But I got some really pretty pictures of it and today I'm just gonna walk you through it and show you what I did to make this little home ours. Now first I should show you a before picture and this is the best one I could get. As you can tell, it needed some work and it looked on the inside very similar to how it looked on the outside. Just kind of not well taken care of, but we took care of that. Now this is what the house looked like on the outside when we were finished. It actually took me several years to get this to look this way because it took a long time to nail down what I wanted it to look like, but I did pretty much all of that. The landscaping, the shutters, the door, everything. This was the entryway. This was our cute little family room. We put in a faux fireplace to the side and then just made it a cozy place to hang out. This is our kitchen, which we completely gutted and redid and I absolutely loved this kitchen. It was an Ikea kitchen, which I highly recommend. and we touched every single square inch of this room. Everything came out and everything was replaced and I stayed married through it, which is kind of a miracle. And I would probably like to replicate this kitchen in our new home, but I haven't really decided yet. This is our master bedroom. It wasn't that big, which is why there's only one picture of it, but we liked it and we made it ours. This is the girls' room, and you all have seen that bunk bed that I made. I made it specifically for this space. This room was really fun to decorate, and I made most of the furniture in this room. This is our guest bedroom. It was the smallest bedroom in the house, but it served the purpose well. Our bathroom, in my opinion, was the greatest liability because it was unbelievably tiny, but just like the kitchen, we completely gutted it. We redid all of the tile, all of the drywall, framed out the window, and just tried to utilize every square inch that we possibly could without making it feel cramped. And then this was our basement, and this is actually where our business started and no, it wasn't always that clean. Then this is our backyard and I get so nostalgic looking at this. We spent so much time in this backyard. I had so much fun giving it a facelift and making it cozy and comfortable. And it's probably one of the things I miss the most about it. And then how cute is this pool? I pulled that off of Pinterest and I just loved that. We spent a lot of time around this fire pit too, not only burning scrap wood that we had, but also just hanging out as a family, roasting hot dogs and marshmallows and hanging out with friends. We had a lot of really good memories out there. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. I really enjoy sharing it. That home brought me so much pride and joy, and I learned a lot of lessons about home ownership and interior design through it and I intend on sharing a lot of those lessons here with you in the future. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I will see you all tomorrow.